Hey everybody, I'm very excited that you are gonna start to color grade your mobile videos. It really makes a difference and it makes your content stand out to work with the colors a little bit. Today I'm gonna go over how to import these filters and how to use them. It's very simple and to begin with you need to download the app into your phone that is called VN. That's where I use my filters and I use the whole app to color grade and edit my videos. So start by downloading the VN app. After you've purchased the mobile filters, you will get a download link. So you can either download the filters to your laptop or to your phone. And since these are mobile filters, then you probably want to have them in your phone, even though I want to let you know that they also work for Premiere Pro in case you're color grading in Premiere Pro. And it's also gonna work on drone footage or camera footage but now we are focusing on pure mobile videos. So you can either download the filters to your phone or to your laptop. I like to download them to my laptop and then just airdrop the filters to my phone, but obviously I have Mac, it's gonna be a bit different for, for Android. But when I airdrop the filters to my phone, my phone simply asks me, how do I want to open the filters? And I open them with the VN app. And when I select VN, VN gives me the option to create a folder with all of my filters. So I create a new folder called AUSAS filters, and then they are all imported. It's a little bit different if you open the downloads link in your phone, then your phone is gonna save a zip folder, and you're gonna have to unzip the folder in your phone, and then you need to open the VN app and manually import the filters through the app. Now you have all of your filters imported into the VN app and now I want to give you a quick tutorial of how to color grade your mobile videos inside of the VN app. And this app is so brilliant and it can really take your content from pretty average to outstanding. So I just select a video clip that I want to color grade and honestly I do this for all of my content. What you see on stories or in post, I always color grade it. I never use it straight from the phone, but I'm also a perfectionist, um, but I recommend you do the same. So you import the clip that you want to color grade and now you have the option here of filter and then you are gonna see all of the filters that you just got here in the very beginning. And you can pick between a vintage filter, summer, or even snow. And for this video, I am gonna pick snow. And then it's quite important that underneath the filter, after you have picked the filter, you get intensity. And this is very important because these filters, they aren't really made in order to have 100% intensity. I usually lower the intensity to like 60% or where I like it at the time. So it just slightly change, changes the colors. And of course it depends on each video. So I'm using the snow filter and I set the intensity to like 70%. And after I've done that, I want to do a few more things. And that's how I want you to think about these filters. They are like your baseline of color grading and that's how I always use them. But then I head over to the adjust and since we're doing this, I just wanted to give you a bit of tutorial into all of the features that we have in the adjust menu because that's gonna help you color grade. So first you have the exposure. I normally don't touch that too much unless the phone has overexposed a video. The phones, they do tend to overexpose rather than underexpose. So sometimes I just bring exposure a little bit down. Then you have the contrast um, and you can play with that to either increase the contrast or decrease the contrast. Brightness is a bit more controlling the shadows. So I will play around with that a little bit, maybe up the brightness slightly on this one. Then you have saturation. I normally don't increase saturation very much because I use the HSL slider and we're gonna go into that in a little bit. However, I do increase the vibrance on mobile videos a little bit because I just think it enhances the footage a bit and it's not as extreme as increasing the saturation. So we increase the vibrance a bit. Then we have the temperature and you can control if you want to make your video look a little bit cooler or a bit warmer. So let's say you have a sunset that's warm colors, but let's say you're on a glacier, you have cold colors. And this is just a slider to enhance that to your liking. Then we have the 
as L slider and that one I use a lot. And as you can see here, we can control each color in the image. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, purple and pink. And I normally play around with the yellows, green and the blues the most. So I like to make my yellow look a bit more orange, like a bit more autumn sunset vibes. So I'll drag the hue of the yellow a little bit to the left and that's gonna make my yellows look a bit more orange. And quite often I also desaturate the yellows. I'm just not a fan of when the yellow color gets too strong unless there's like a sunset video. But even then I like to make the yellow look a bit more orange. It gives a bit like dreamier cinematic vibes. Orange is quite connected to our skin color. So if I want to make myself look more tanned, I'm gonna bring down the lightness of the orange. So this works if you have a light skin like me, but of course it works in both directions. If you want to make yourself look uh, a bit brighter, you pull the lightness of the orange up, and then you can also control the saturation of the orange, which is also gonna affect your tan levels. I don't really touch the hue at all in orange because that's gonna make your skin look weird, but it could work if you have only a video of a tree in autumn, for example. The blues I like to also control because I'm shooting in Iceland where there are glaciers and there are a lot of blues in the environment and I personally like to make them look a little bit more teal. So then I drag the hue slider a bit more to the left and then I will sometimes increase the saturation if I want a glacier or an iceberg to pop and this is just all you can play with but now you get the idea of the HSL slider so it's very efficient and it can really set the tone and the mood of your video. You can also completely play with it and put the saturation of yellow down to zero and then you're gonna get quite like artistic vibe like there are so many opportunities with color grading. Uh, next up you have the vignette, so you can either make like a lighter circle around your video or a darker circle. I tend to create a more darker circle because then the middle of the video has the lightest part and then your eyes get drawn into the middle of the video. So I like to yeah, make the vignette a bit dark. I normally don't touch the sharpen button that much, just phone videos are quite sharp. I only do it if it's like maybe shot in low light. The hue I also don't touch too much. And then we have highlights and shadows. And I, um, I increase the shadows if that's needed and bring down the highlights also if that's needed, uh, all depending on the video. And you just need to experiment with this. Finally, there's noise reduction. I don't use that much unless I shot something in low light then maybe I add a little bit of noise reduction. So this was a crash course in color grading in VN and I hope that this is helpful. And I'm so excited that you are gonna start to color grade your videos. It really makes the difference. So I cannot wait to see what you create and I hope you enjoy my filters.